on market. Let's talk about surging sparks for a minute. We are pretty damn close to tying our booster box pre-orders on surging sparks with Stellar Crown, which comes out in two weeks. Surging sparks, I'm sure it'll be a great set, but it's so weird to me when people universally decide if something's good or bad because there's no information on it yet. When all the cards leak from Paradise Dragona, then yeah, we will see kind of a sneak preview of the Surging Spark set. We will see that. And at that point, I'll at least respect it a little more as far as why it's getting all the hype. This is, it's absolutely madness. Like, I don't understand. Someone explain to me. Ooh, 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 me, 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 me. I'll explain, I'll explain. All right, what's up, little pups? Today, we're going to be talking about how Para Surging Sparks is already a better set than Stellar Crown. <laughs> Let's first look at how much we know about Let's first look at how much we know what's coming for Surging Sparks. Since early August, we already knew that a Gladia CX and a, an Executor Alolan EX was coming out. But then, all the way to August 17 is where we actually find out what the SIRs of these look like. And we finally got a Gladia CX SIR a, and a Alolan Executor EX SIR for Paradise Dragona, which is the first half of Surging Sparks. And we have a Latios Illustration Rare. We also have a Flygon EX and an Arcalodon EX. And also a Black Kyurem EX. Pokemon then blessed us with the product lineup for the whole Surging Spark set. So we have a booster box, we have the ETBs, and we have the ETB promos with the uh, with the Magneton. I'll tell you with the information we have right now, Surging Sparks is already looking out to be a better set than Stellar Crown. For the reason, simply put... Latios EX with a Latios team up, which is uh, reminiscent of the tag team team up set with the Latios and Latias uh, GX tag team, although they are separate cards, but nonetheless, if you put them together, they do make a whole picture. <clears throat> Pair that up with the fact that we have a Pikachu that's coming, and let me uh, let me tell you, I don't think they're gonna they're gonna uh, let us down with the Pikachu. Imagine a super sought after chase Pikachu like Vivid Voltage, which was an insane set that everyone was looking for back when it came out, and then a Latias EX chase card with a Latias IR chase card, because IR cards can actually get almost as expensive as Special Illustration Rares in a lot of cases. Just look at Magikarp, just look at Groudon, just look at Eevee. You pair the Pikachu with those two already without knowing anything else, you already have a set that will be sought after way more than Stellar Crown. Why, you might ask? Because Stellar Crown has Terrapagos EX, has Hydrapple EX, has Galvantial EX, a lot of Pokemon that people did not care for as the majority of the fan base. Because a, a lot of people didn't play the DLC, and a lot of people also don't really care that much for the Gen 9 Pokemon. Now, if you take Pikachu, the mascot, and make it an actual chase card, not like 151 where it's an illustration rare, and you also pair it up with the Pokemon that really may team up a massive cannon of destruction, you, you can already see the formula for success and why people are going to be way more hyped for this. And this wasn't even the set that was going to get hyped up for months. We were expecting a Team Rocket set, an Eevee set, a Gym Hero set, and all the Mega Evolution sets that are coming for Pokemon Legends ZA. And even Pokemon knows this, because Pokemon announced, released the promos for the pre-release of Surging Sparks already one day or two before the ones for Stellar Crown. You can see it right here, August 23, August 22, Surging Sparks 22, Stellar Crown 23. And the pre-release promos for Surging Sparks are less uh, wanted Pokemon than the ones in Surging Sparks. Although that's really a weak point, but we do have the Magneton, Gorging Fire, Chimpao. I think those are personally, right, those are cooler than Ladian, Crabonable, and uh, Bufalon. Dribbling is kind of is kind of cool. And we have yet to even know half of what's coming. We have yet to know what's even coming for the half of it. But with what we already do know, it's going to be a really popular set. Also to add, we also have knowledge that there are going to be 11 special illustration rare Pokemon cards. I talked about this in another video. Twilight Masquerade has 11, Paradox Rift has 14, Temporal Forces has 10 SIRs. How many does Stellar Crown have? Six. Stellar Crown does not have enough material to make one insanely hyped for. That's why Stellar Crown gets bashed a little bit. 
So anyways, little pups, that's uh, pretty much the biggest info we have on Surging Sparks compared to Stellar Crown and uh, pretty good reasons as to why it's getting hyped up and why so many people are already pre-ordering it compared to Stellar Crown. So I hope you learned something in this video. Maybe you'll do something smart and like pre-order it from now because as you can see, Twilight Masquerade, having bought it since the beginning was a smart move because it was at $100 for like two weeks, rose all the way up to $130. So you might not want to wait for Surging Sparks because it might just get way more expensive. And with that, I leave you guys and let's get on to the next news.